it appears that the pie in the sky pipe dream for quarterback of the future in Minnesota is Jaden Daniels, the thing that's least likely to happen. And now things can change come draft time. And most of what you hear during the off season leading up to the draft, it is nothing more than smoke screens, but you always have to prepare for all avenues. The vibes that I am getting is that it's going to be between Drake may and JJ McCarthy. And I feel like this, has caused a rift within Vikings Nation. You're either Team May or Team McCarthy, and there's no wiggle room. I want to try to take a, an objective look at both of these prospects, and I want to start with Drake May. Drake May is, he threads the needle like it's nobody's business. Drake May is a marksman. This man throws dimes. And for route running specialists such as Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison, with him as your quarterback, it's easy money for you. The more film that I watch on this guy, the more he really reminds me of Kirk Cousins, but with courage. And Kirk Cousins, imagine having Kirk Cousins on a rookie contract. I would take that all day. As far as the similarities between the two, you can tell. And maybe this applies to all quarterbacks, but I, I feel like it really sticks out with Drake May. You could tell he really just wants to stay in his comfort zone of staying in the pocket, set up, boom, 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 no worries. That's what he really wants to do. However, if he has to move out the pocket, much like Kirk Cousins, he stays in a set position up top, just stiff in the shoulders, ready to throw while moving horizontally or sideline to sideline, boom, 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 boom. The problem with that is, and it works when you feel like you can throw a receiver open or a receiver is open. You're in a set position. Bam, get rid of the football. The problem is that these edge rushers, while you're doing boom, 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 these edge rushers, they're doing this. So you don't have as much time to really extend the play as, say, J.J. McCarthy. We'll talk about that in just a second. But where he has courage that Kirk Cousins lacks is that he really he will force the play sometimes. Sometimes it works out for him, other times it doesn't. He will, instead of the safe play of taking the sack, throwing the ball out of bounds, at times he'll try a little Patrick Mahomes type of magician, Houdini type of trick, which I think came back to bite him in the ass a bit last year in 2023 compared to 2022 in terms of taking care of the football in 22 38 touchdown passes to seven interceptions that's pretty great 23 24 touchdown passes to nine picks so there was a bit of regression there but i mean you draft this guy i think it's a home run jj mccarthy this man has all the confidence in the world i I hate to sound, I know I'm going to sound corny on this, but I hate to sound cliche, but you can tell he has that leadership quality that you want from a starting quarterback in this league, that he has that energy that I think players, his teammates will naturally gravitate towards him. In the pocket, he doesn't quite thread the needle as a Drake may, but I tell you what, man, he does a good enough job, I think, throwing to his receivers, giving his playmakers an opportunity to make plays on those 50-50 balls. 50-50 balls for a guy like Justin Jefferson is more like 80-20, whereas Jordan Addison, I'll say 65-35. And when he has to move around, whether it's maneuvering in or outside the pocket, he's way more fluid then say Drake May. Edge rushers, they're doing this. So is J.J. McCarthy. He lets it loose. And then when he finds his receiver, the play, he may decide to take off. But if he finds a receiver, then he'll reset and say, bam, there's my guy. His throws on the run are incredible. Speaking of his throws, this man has one velocity, I feel like. And it's throwing laser passes. It's I would say a little bit Brett Farvian, except there's a little bit, he, he does it with more air underneath of his passes. So it's not 
Brett Favre just threw straight bullets. It didn't matter whether it was a check down, intermediate, or deep passes. It was bam. And I'm watching this man in real time, especially playing at Lambeau Field in the cold during the winter time. I'm like, how are these dudes catching these passes? It's like he's throwing bricks. So it's not it's not quite to the level of Brett Favre. There's a little bit more air underneath to have soft landings on his receiver's hands, but it's one velocity. Can he handle a full-time workload at the next level? At Michigan, he averaged 22 attempts per game. Kirk Cousins, before he went down in just eight games, averaged 39 attempts per game. So can he handle it at the next level? Here's what I will say. As much as I'm against the idea of trading up, as I mentioned earlier at the start of this video, it could just be all smoke screens. He could be there if the Vikings are unable to trade up to pick three. J.J. McCarthy could very, well, could very well still fall to 11. But if they have to trade up for J.J. McCarthy, say at pick four or five, and that means you're sacrificing, man, you may have to sacrifice picks 11 and 23 and you don't pick again until the fourth round i'm okay with it in the sense that quasi and kevin o'connell have done their homework as long as you don't settle at pick 23 with say michael Penix or even worse bo Nix, they've done their homework they are attaching this guy whoever it's going to be to their names, to their reputation, that they feel confident enough that they feel that they're not reaching if it's for McCarthy at four or five. I mean, this man, I thought you could have gotten him at pick 42 at one point, but this hype has gone insane. I'm okay with it, and, and I'd hate to be that guy, but it's like they're the ones doing the work. It's their decision. feel like we have to get behind it, whatever it is, and so be it. So what are your thoughts? I'm curious. Are you team May or team McCarthy? I'm team May. I'm okay with drafting JJ McCarthy because if that's if that's the confidence that you have, all right, but oh my God, please just let him be available at 11, worst case scenario.